Ladies, welcome back to Robertson's Belly Acres. All right, so we just got back from um, from the Panhandle, getting things taken care of, and you guys look at this. My sweet potatoes are pretty much done. You see all of this right here? Yeah, so I've been waiting to dig them up because this was just so full, and uh, I think I'm gonna try digging them up and see what we've got under there. Uh, I went ahead and soaked this this morning so it'll be easier to dig. And uh, let's see what we can find, you guys. I'm so excited. All right, you guys, so what you want to do, I'm not an expert at this by any means because I've only ever grown sweet potatoes once before and I'm usually just kind of learning as I go. But um, you kind of want to find where your plant is actually you know the actual plant so here's one that we planted and it's kind of gone out everywhere so <clears throat> when you start pulling all of these vines back you can kind of see where your plant actually is so like here this is a vine this is the vine here's the actual plant you can see this is the the mother plant or the the main plant so i'm going to dig maybe maybe out here and I'm going to start digging kind of a little ways around it to see what see what we end up with. Um, hopefully I don't break through any of these. So here we go. So I'm going to come out a little bit. I think I have like 12 plants up here. So these plant, these uh, sweet taters were actually from Naturally in NC. Uh, if you haven't checked her out, go check her out. She was trying to uh, save this this uh, kind of sweet potato. I have no idea if anything grew or not. They were beautiful plants, that's all I know. And we grew these from slip. Uh, that we have gotten. All right. I don't really see anything yet. Yep. Well, here's one, but it's tiny. Maybe I should wait a little bit. I have no idea. Pull up this one plant, and we'll see what see what's there. Yeah, they're still really tiny, you guys. So, I don't know. Maybe I should go ahead and leave. See, that was one plant there. Maybe I should go ahead and leave them for another little while. Maybe I've just had too much water. I have no idea. So, here's what I found. They are tiny, tiny. So, I think I will just leave these for another couple of weeks or so and uh and see what happens i'll go ahead and take these off and dry them out because i don't want to put them back in the ground they'd probably rot at this point but i will clean these off and um i can dry these and i can still do something with them and as for the plant oh i can uh feed this to the pigs they love sweet potatoes that aside. I kind of want to see these ones that have died out. The plants that have died out. I don't want to leave. Like this is another plant here. Just don't know. Just don't know. Hmm. If you guys have any suggestions about what's going on, just kind of let me know because I like I said, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to sweet taters. I've only ever grown any. Last year I grew some, and I even said on that one, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there's a part of one. I 
don't know. That soil is rich, rich. Well, I really have no idea um, why they're so teeny tiny, <laughs> but I do know that the pigs are going to love this vine. Uh, I could probably take the vine inside, but I'm going to give them a good treat. They still got water running over here. I've got to turn that off, but uh, they will love this. Hey, bud. Hey. Here. Want some of it? Hey, you're missing out over there. Come here. Come here. You're missing out. Come see it. Yeah. You're missing out. <laughs> Oh, they're loving it. Mayday! Okay, I'm just going to wash the mud off of these. Mayday! Well, see, it's still green on the end, so yeah, definitely need to leave them for a little bit. I got this little tray. That on top. Rinse those off and then I'll have to go find a spot to put them so that they can um fuzzy. The yeah. They can kind of cure. Okay guys, so as you see, Rachel got these dug up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put them to, to cure or to dry. I don't know which is the right way to say it, but uh, 80 to 85 degrees with high relative humidity. So obviously we keep our house cooler than that. So we're gonna go back to the shed with them. Keep them in there, it'll get cooler than that at night, but it still gets up in the 90s. So we'll do that for about 10 days and hopefully here in another week or two, we can get some more of these taters pulled. Yeah, so um, it's nice and cool right now here. Well, I say nice and cool. It, it, our highs are getting, I mean, if we may be reaching 90s every now and then, but for the most part, we've been staying in the 80s. So hopefully putting them in the shed will be sufficient. Um, lay them up there and see what happens. I'll split them up a little bit. Put them out. Yeah. I do know. Should we open the window, you think? Yeah, we can open that window. As long as there's no woolly boogers gonna get me. Yeah, I was gonna open this window over here, but uh, this one over here. But then um, I saw Miss Charlotte. She was hanging out up there. That that that's a pretty big uh Pretty big Charlotte up there. Oh, we're zoomed in. Yeah. I don't know that Charlotte is as pretty as the angels when they sing when she looks like that. Haha. <laughs> 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 hurry. Gets that reference? Hurry, hurry, name the song. Name that song. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, that was a bust. Let's go look around the garden and see what we got. Again, we just got home, so um so we need to mow and things and uh but we'll just kind of take a quick peek really fast see what's out there we gotta quick, get fast and in a hurry yes. i gotta go i gotta be heading to work here in just a few minutes yes rusty's headed to work um we had some cucumbers growing up here on the hill and i didn't know how they were going to do because none of this soil has been amended you know we've barely moved on this uh property this oh. year oh, oh look at that we have gotten more you can pull that one we have gotten more um 
cucumbers off this hill. And this was red clay, because if yes. those of you that have been around for a while, uh, this is the storm cellar we dug up to try an attempt to seal it. So all that red clay, I mean, everything just got mixed. There's no, it's not good soil, so. But there's another little cucumber right there. He's not ready yet. But we've picked more cucumbers. Oh, there's another one over here. I don't know if he's ready. Uh, off of this uh, no, hill. He's not ready yet, but look at him. Can you see him? Yeah. yeah. Then we did off of the fence, even. 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 All right, you guys. So oh, I know. One. Got one. Got one here and another little one right there. Here's an update on these uh, tomatoes. I never did do an update because it was a total bust. So if you go back in the videos or if you saw the video where we were doing a tomato um, challenge or a tomato, not challenge, it was a experiment. All of those tomatoes died except for the ones that were not amended. So the tomato uh, experiment was we planted four tomatoes here that I don't remember. They had um, miracle Grow, I think. And then the next four tomatoes, I had pureed some fish and put in with the tomatoes. And then the next four tomatoes, I had put um, uh, soil conditioner like a happy frog soil conditioner and then the next four i didn't do anything to them and the four that didn't have anything to done to them are the only ones that survived everything else we died we do we've got a couple of them look there's another one right there yeah. so we planted these way late i'm talking july we planted these plants um to, try, to kind of try to replace what was going on over here. We think what happened was, all right. I think what happened was this um, just got flooded right after we planted and it just, it killed them. So, um, so that there's the update on the tomatoes. It was, the experiment was a bust and I should have come back and said something sooner. I just hadn't thought about it had time but um these tomato plants are all looking great um lots of blooms now hopefully you just get them to set fruit yes those uh cucumbers are done so on that fence uh we got we got several cucumbers pickling yeah, cucumbers several. but not as many as we got off the hill which is crazy these um uh okra plants we planted way late as well but they uh they came from Charles at uh, Fallen Arkansas Veterans. He sent us emails of these um, these uh, okra that got real giant okra. So we planted so late. So, but still, we've got some blooms coming on. We have a cucumber. Do we? Baby on this plant. A little bitty baby. Oh, we've got new growth. Isn't that crazy? I, the vines dying out, but this end just keeps going. I need to get out here and water. We haven't watered since we've been home, um, but I want to mow the yard first. Um, I did have one carrot, look at this, one carrot plant coming up right here. I had came in and just kind of thrown some, sown some carrot seeds in between all of this and yeah, thrown, sown, thrown, sown. <laughs> So let's go see, look at how tall this grass is. Oh my goodness, it doesn't take long. You're gone for four days and it's like everything just went nuts. We needed to mow before we left. We got to mow now that we're back. <laughs> yes, got to. So here's a squash plant. There's a squash on there, I saw it. This one was it's also... Not very big. I still got the bloom oh, on yep. it. Oh, yep, there he is. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, let's try to, there we go. And there's another one behind it. That was a very, late this. late plant i think this was There's four of them right there late june, june early july this is rusty's ghost pepper plant nobody eats the ghost peppers tons of ghost peppers on it we're gonna have to come out this evening when rusty gets off work and, and harvest yeah uh to, the tabasco plants you guys are going nuts so i need to see if i can find a good recipe for tabasco sauce or just pickle them, but I really think I want to do some Tabasco sauce. Our red corn is about done, so hopefully we got something on there. Um, I had to pick, we had a huge bell pepper on here. We, Rusty really wanted them to turn red, so we were trying to wait them out to turn red, but uh, the huge one that was on there 
was touching the ground and it rotted and so I had to take it off and give it to the pigs. I was so disappointed you guys but look at how pretty these peppers are. Oh my goodness. This is my anchel uh, plant uh, poblanos. I've already picked several that have turned red and I have them drying. Oh my goodness this red look at that that's turning red. Mm -hmm. So these are the crushed red peppers uh, pepper kind. I don't know what they are for sure but it just says crushed red pepper. <laughs> um, oh we've got tons of stuff. Serranos. Lots of tomatoes back there we got to pick this evening. Look we've got serranos like crazy. Yes wow. lots of cherry tomatoes y'all. We have so many cherry tomatoes. Oh, bananas are taking off. Good. Good. Oh look at this. Sugar rush peach. Look at look at all of those. Look at those sugar rush peach. Mm -hmm. They're so beautiful. And the Anaheims have gone nuts. I definitely need to get some water out here. Look at all of these tomato plants have just gone nuts. They're about dead. These are about done for the year. Our turnips didn't do much. <laughs> oh, look at I melon. know. Our Santa Claus melon. Yes. So I don't know if we're going to have enough time for this. But you guys, one of our subscribers, Penny Newell, sent us these seeds this year. They're called Santa Claus melons. And oh, they've got stuff on them. I've got to come out here and treat. But they, um, she grew those in Spain. How cool is that? And so she sent us some Santa Claus melons and we want to try them out. We wanted to try them out. And we actually have one little melon on it. I'm so excited. Uh, our cucumbers didn't make it in these totes. Actually, this one started to climb. We were so late on our garden, you guys. Ooh, we've got, we've got a little pattern, do we? Yeah. We've got something just eating everything up on here. See, we've got, I bet we have a worm. We need to look and see if we can find, it's usually the horned worms that will just eat the entire leaves and everything off of them, off the plants. Um, our more beans, squash more squash. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Oh, it's so overgrown. Um, I need to get the weed eater out again. So I'm letting these, uh, these are the um, uh, mosaic luna beans. I'm letting these uh, dry on the vine because I do want to be able to harvest those uh, to have again next year. So they were very prolific. Um, those came from, I believe these came from, was it Walterman's, Walterman's yes. homestead? Or maybe these were from Papa Pepper. These were from Papa Pepper. And then uh, the rattlesnake beans also, I'm kind of letting them dry out. Um, those came from Walterman's homestead. And then we've got some green beans back here. I probably will come and pick some of those later. And, uh, but I am gonna let These some dry. Just, yeah, they're done. They're done. There's a lot that we didn't, didn't see. Right, and that's good though, because then we can harvest them for next year. These were our um, black eyed peas. And oh my gosh, uh, they were big and beautiful. And we went away for a couple of days and we came home and the aphids had just devoured them. But we did get a good harvest off of them. Uh, our pinto beans didn't do great this year. They just didn't. Um, <laughs> I say that and there's a little bean right there just trying to make it. Um, yep. All right, you guys, that was just a real quick rundown. Um, we will do a better uh, job of a, a tour um, after we get everything cleaned up and Rusty yes. has to head to work. So Yeah, I gotta go to work. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Anyway, we hope you guys like our videos. If you do, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, share with your friends. Leave us some comments, you guys. We know you got lots to say about a lot going on here, a lot of cleaning up to do. But most of all, don't forget to smash that bell and get notified of the next new video when it comes out. Yep, until next time, you guys. God bless. See ya.